Welcome back, ladies and gents. On today's show, a thousand horsepower Camaro with a warranty, total recall Tuesday, and a brand new old fake Corvette. Oh, and meet my new co-host, Charlotte. She seems to make a new spider web every day. Plus, the rustiest projects you've ever seen. I'm Tiffany Stone, and this is Haggerty's Daily Driver. Let's buckle up. If the 750 horsepower Camaro ZL1 leaves you bored, well, special vehicle engineering might have the answer. This is the Yanko SC, and it makes 1,050 horsepower. Now, the car starts out as a regular SS1LE, then SBE installs a supercharged 6.8 liter V8 with forged internals and new cylinder heads. To keep everything happy, SBE upgrades the cooling systems for the engine, transmission, and differential. They also changed out the springs and bushings, but left Chevy's brilliant Magna ride untouched. And here's the kicker, everybody, and I didn't believe it until I read it, but because it's a factory authorized conversion, it doesn't void the warranty, and this is amazing. Now, SVE is only making 50 cars, and they'll start out at 115,000. And now it's time for Total Recall Tuesdays, where we keep you up to date on what's going wrong in cars. This week, two manufacturers issued recalls because of problems with their braking system, and no, they're not small recalls either. On September 9th, Ford recalled 38,000 2020 Mustangs for an issue with the brake pedal assembly. The problem is that the brake pedal bracket can break. And yes, car internet, those are spelled differently. Now, GM is having issues as well. According to Corvette Action Center, a problem with the brake sensor has forced GM to recall not just one of its models, but several. Now, the problem affects the Corvette, the Cadillac CT4, CT5, XT4, Buick Encore GX, and the 2021 Trailblazer. Ouch, GM. But hey, in other news, Chinese car companies have been caught <clears throat> borrowing designs from manufacturers before. Patent intelligence company Inquartech put some amazing examples on their website. Like, why buy a McLaren when you can get this thing? In the past, Chinese companies copied new cars, but this is pretty blatant. No, 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 no. That's not a 1958 Corvette. That's the brand new SS Dolphin by Songsan Motors. Did they copy the Corvette? Well, let's take a look at their homepage. Well, look at that. Pictures of Tom Cruise and George Clooney driving a Corvette? Nothing suspicious here, guys. Now, it's powered by a 1.5 liter hybrid powertrain, so compared to a real Corvette, it should be quite boring. And you guys all know that imitation is the highest form of flattery, but copying is just wrong, and this is probably considered stealing. Coming up, a project car that aims to answer the question, how much rust is too much? But first, check out this old Corvette ad. Wait, or is that the new SS Dolphin? The Stingray has a chassis and suspension system years ahead of contemporary sedans. Bold and Charlotte, your spider web was so huge. Are you ever going to come back? I was only gone for one day, Charlotte. Project cars come in many conditions. You can buy a car that just needs a tune-up, a few parts, or hey, even a rebuilt engine. But one thing most hobbyists try to do, avoid rust at all costs. It's not only expensive to repair, but the rust nibbles away at your car like the venom from a brown recluse spider. And Charlotte, we're not talking about you, so it's okay. Well, Haggerty editor-at-large Sam Smith seems to be fearless because he is in the process of rescuing a BMW 2002 TII and it's flaking and crumbling in so many places it could pass for filled dough. Sam, of course, is documenting the whole process in a series of articles on Haggerty.com explaining why he would take on such a challenge. He bought it for $1,800, which I know some of you might think that's just too much, but some cars just hit you right in the feels. Now Sam has owned a number of BMW coupes. He's raced them, fixed them, and seen the country through their upright glass. And although there's chunks of subframe, fender, and floor holes that are large enough to pass as doors, he and some friends are determined to make it roadworthy. Now we don't know what Sam's car will look like when it's done, but hey, that's okay. Because his story should be a reminder that your next project shouldn't wait until you find the perfect starting point. 
There's a lot more incredible pictures, wise words, and giant rusty holes in his mythology. Seriously, everyone, I can't believe he's doing this. You just have to go read it for yourself. Go to Haggerty.com or click the link below. Sam, good luck. That's it for me today, but I'll be back tomorrow with more car news, hopefully no rust, but until then, keep driving.